name's Mel Foster. I'm having an exhibition here in the Inner West, near Newtown tonight. It's called Real Silver and it's all based on experimental use of photography. And it, it's open tonight, the 20th of January through to Sunday, the 30th of January. As a brief overview, it's basically experimentations with the photographic image. So it's working with photographs, but not actually digital prints or anything. It's working with film, darkroom techniques, vintage colouring, screen printing, where I actually go in and hand cut all the, the stencils. quite a lengthy process. What I did was, well first of all I started learning screen printing funnily enough in a really DIY way. I was living in London and I was really into it and I started doing it in a squat. I was just paying some squatter like 20 quid to show me how to screen print just by using um, home barbecue lights and mesh that's curtain material and stuff like that and um, it was a really nice way to learn to do it in a home DIY kind of way and I came back one year ago and decided to hire a screen printing studio and then that's where I learned all the real proper techniques if you will which involves uh, you've got to own you have a screen with the right mesh on it there's different grades you coat the screen with a emulsion that needs to be exposed to UV light there's lots of different level ways of, of doing it and then putting layers of ink over and over and over and it's I mean it's a really nice process it's nice to not be sitting in front of a computer once my studio ended I had a studio for six months it ended and I sort of thought oh what am I going to do with myself decided that it was time to bite the bullet and hit the streets and it's been really fun everything I've learned from screen printing I started blowing it up large scale hand cutting the stencils myself and just going out on the street and going for it and it's really fun and it's crazy and maybe a little bit dangerous. You do it because you're passionate and there certainly is enough people around within the art scene and, and friendships that are there to support you, to keep going at it and and you do it because you love it and it's a double-edged sword. It's, it's, it's good and there's a lot of great things in it at the same time. It can be very, very hard and challenging. It's still worth it.